So this is a tutorial on how to fix the uh, Xbox uh, red ring of death, the uh, red light there. So I have my Xbox plugged in. You have to have the video cable and the power cable plugged in. So you turn it on and uh, as you can see the red light should pop up soon. There we go. So there's a flashing red light down there. So how you, the what causes this is because as you play games, the Xbox heats up, right? So as it heats up, the connections actually start to get loose because it gets so hot it can actually melt the solder on the CPU and GPU. Most of the time it's the GPU. So this is the E74. That means it's a, a heat problem or a connection. So uh, to fix this, first you have to turn off your Xbox. <clears throat> you take your... Uh, DVD drive out like this, put it on the side like that. I just have tape here to uh, make the airflow better. So you just let me get that off. And then you take the uh, fan shroud off. And I have fans uh, that I modded into the power supply for the Xbox so it doesn't uh, heat up as much. There are two 12 volt fans on the power supply directly from the back of the Xbox. And I have a uh, red talisman fan. Uh, they do help protecting it but uh, it'll still get it one way or another and once the Xbox gets the red ring of death it pretty much just comes back. There's not really a way to fix it. So now you take your fan sec here, close it up, you put it on top of your CPU because you don't want the CPU to get hot because that's bad could it damage your Xbox so you want to get the GPU hot. That's the graphics processing unit. So and then next you grab a shirt or sweater or towel, whatever you have, put it on top of the GPU and the uh, other little heatsink attached to it if you have one, like that. And then uh, I just get this so you can see the light. And then you turn it on and uh, sometimes you have to restart it twice for the fans to kick in because they don't always uh, speed up right away. So I'm just gonna, there's a red light, I'm gonna restart it. And you basically, it's basically like baking. So you have to bake your Xbox for a while. Um, it's not really a set time. You want to get, to get nice and like hot, so if you touch the GPU heatsink, it literally burns your finger. Uh, so you can either leave it on maybe like half hour to an hour. Uh, I sometimes leave it on until the Xbox itself shuts off because it has thermal protection. Uh, this goes on for a while. It'll get hot but it won't burn the sweater or anything. And uh, this usually fix it most of the time. And I'll show you. I can stop the video and I'll show you later uh, when it's done. After some time the fans will start to speed up and it'll get louder. But uh, that's fine. So. Okay, and we're back. It's been uh, it's been about a half hour. I've let this baked. Uh, still got the red light. Now we're gonna take off the sweater, and uh, that's pretty hot. Not quite. Well, yeah, it's burning hot now. Uh, so what you want to do is uh, turn off the Xbox. Now it's a cool down period, so you have you have to let it cool down. Uh, because uh, you don't really want to start the Xbox when it's burning hot like that. So <clears throat> you can, you know, just put the basics back in, like the the fan. It just snaps in, and then the fan shroud. Not going to bother with the tape, though, because I don't really care about it. It's just going to break again. So that's it. It's got a little clip on it, but there we go. Uh, you can leave the DVD drive out for now, just so uh, it's not... Just the heatsink's not covered in a drive, so more air can pass through. Uh, I might actually just get my other 5 volt fan that I have and run it off a battery, put it on the heatsink so it cools down faster. Uh, yeah, that's what I think I'm gonna do. Uh, one thing I didn't mention before is there's more than one way to fix the, the red ring of death. Uh, you can do the bolt trick where you change the X clamps for bolts. I did that <clears throat> to the CPU and GPU, and I put new. Uh, heatsink paste on. 
it does help, but the Xbox will break anyways eventually. So uh, if you want, it only costs like two dollars to get the parts for it. Uh, you can look on eBay; they have some really cheap, free shipping and everything. Um, and then there's another one where um, you basically overload the Xbox by turning it on and off and opening the DVD drive a whole bunch of times, holding it into place, clicking the uh, controller sync button, and it just like overloads the Xbox and it, it resets itself basically. Uh, it basically does the same thing as overheating it because overheating it will reseat the uh, chips and basically resets the Xbox so it forgets that it has a problem, but then it just gets the problem again and yeah then you have to fix it again but it's pretty easy so I'll uh, start the video again when it's uh, cooled down uh, I took the sweater off of the Xbox I turned it off I put my fan on it to cool down uh, and I put my the fans back in their spot because it's done now so we have to put it back together uh, so now what you do is you put your fan shroud back in. Microsoft probably could have done a better job with the ventilation of the Xbox, but uh, they just wanted to get it out before the PS3. So that's too bad. Uh, so after that, just put your DVD drive back in. It has to line up the holes and everything, so it's in. Uh, now that everything's back together, you know, just uh, you have to keep the power and video plugged in. I have to plug my controller in, turn on. Uh, there we go, you can see my fans going and uh, see if we get the green light. And there we go, got the green light so the fix worked. And uh, so if it gives you the problem again, all you do is uh, take it apart, put the sweater or something or towel, because it's basically the towel trick, and uh, just let it cook. and. Uh, pretty easy fix doesn't need a lot of uh, skill to do it those fans that I put in um, you can see I have 112 volt here and the other ones there on the CPU and I wired a little switch here on the side so when I have to bake it I can just turn the fans off so it heats up faster uh, pretty simple they're wired to the power supply in the back of the Xbox on the bottom of the motherboard you have uh, I could have wired the 5 volt fan which is right here I might do a mod later to uh, get this fan on the either the top of the Xbox somewhere around there or on the uh, bottom of it somewhere wherever I can find it. I'd have to cut a hole but uh, I don't really think there's a point because the Xbox will break anyways because it doesn't seem like there's any permanent fix to it so uh, it works now and that's it uh, yeah so uh, Hope you, well, I hope this video helped you in fixing your Xbox. You can, uh, if you didn't know how to take your Xbox apart, you can just uh, look it up on um, on the internet. They have some pretty good tutorials. It's pretty easy. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and it helped. So, subscribe and uh, watch my other videos.